Good morning, everybody. Today is an experimental day. We have two guests with us today, Miss Susan Liebert, and Charlie is our commissioner extraordinaire, and, and we just love him. And he was elected, re-elected, but had no opposition. There's right. a reason you had no opposition. You're doing a good job. Well, I, I appreciate that. That's, that's the way I like to run. Yes, I, I love that because you won. You right. won. Right. Yes, it was one of those, you know, um, the elections happened. There are still a few that are in a, re, a runoff, and that's very interesting. And, and uh, see where that goes but yesterday in American history on June the 6th mm -hmm. many many years ago a lot of lives were lost I think it was a day that people often forget it was a day of remembrance and I saw that Harry and Lynn Doss were traveling and it looked like they were in Hawaii I didn't google everything but it looked like they were there and Harry being a big military guy if you spent time in the military, if you gave of yourself and your family, then you know what D-Day was for America and for the world. Yeah. And a lot of people forget. You get busy the first week yeah. of June and you just forget. And Charlie, it's a very important day, isn't it? It is a very important day and it's, unfortunately, as we get further and further away from it, <clears throat> um, people do tend to forget. Mm -hmm. and. The people who are forgetting, I think, uh, a lot of that is because they actually weren't there and, and you, no matter how many times you hear about it or see it, it's not like living it. No, And no. Uh, of course those folks will never forget. Right. Um, but uh, I think that uh, we're, we're doing a lot better now in, in trying to remember those things. And, oh, absolutely. Yeah. We need to. We need to. There's never a day that we don't right. remember D-Day. Um, and, and then, you know, when we look at, we're approaching um, Independence Day. America is, is yeah. independent and free because mm -hmm. there were lives lost. Right. If we added up the numbers, I mean, Vietnam being one of those big, big numbers, um, and then we go to 9-11 where we weren't fighting for our country, we were just trying to live our life according to right. God's perfect plan, get up, go to work, work for the company that you've been with for years, walk into the World Trade Center and lose your life. You yeah. know, Susan, you were from New York. You, you know, you saw up close and personal what happened to the world that day. Yeah. So every single event in history that took down many, many lives actually brings us closer together. Mm -hmm. And I hope yeah. that as we celebrated D-Day yesterday, as we celebrate Independence Day, as we are facing 9-11, I hope that it once again unites America. It is time for us to really get, we are the United States of America. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we forget that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the most important thing about who we are and what we are is we are united together. Yeah. And sometimes we just get kind of squirrely and crazy and mean and angry. And you know, I've got some Democrat friends, y'all. And I know <laughs> y'all don't believe that, but I do. And I don't, I don't smack them or nothing, <laughs> you know? And yep. I allow, you know, they get their mm -hmm. opinion and I get my opinion. Yeah. Do you want to hear my opinion? You want to hear what's right, okay? You'll, you'll <laughs> hear it too. <laughs> you will, yeah, you will. Right. Well, D-Day, a day that will live in infamy. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I, on Omaha Beach, wasn't it? And mm -hmm. the other beach? The good time. Oh, gosh. Omaha, I, I have a friend yeah. whose yeah. daddy was there and he was on a ship that was blown up and he almost mm -hmm. died. And he would not allow his wife to drive a car mm -hmm. made in a foreign country <laughs> and we'll just not name that country but she yeah. was not allowed to drive that car and when he passed away she did go buy one of those cars mm -hmm. but but he lost friends loved ones and almost his life and so now that he's gone on he's not here to tell this story anymore but I remember how many times precious Everett Mosley told that story mm -hmm and how much it meant to him and, and he just, you know, when, when they have the parades in Jasper and people are holding a flag, that's a real deal for him. That, yeah. was, that was because he fought to protect that flag. Okay. And um, we forget that sometimes, we forget. Yeah. I think knowing what Noah Harris meant to this community mm -hmm. and knowing how he died, um, I don't think L.J. forgets. No, not like other places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we're, I, I know people are going to not like it when I say this, but I think we're closer knit. Yes, and I love that. Gilmer yeah. County than I most love that. places are. I love that. Yeah, 
I think that's one of the warm and welcoming things to right. that. And I did a little video yesterday, and I have to redo it because I got my finger in the middle of it, and you can't have your finger in the video, but I did. <laughs> but I was just experimenting because, and I said in the video, Gilmer County is open for business. And Gilmer County really is open for business. <clears throat> During the pandemic, there were some shutdowns, but we didn't really close the doors like a lot of communities right. did. And people worked well together. They, if you say wear a mask, people wore the mask. They, they abided by whatever rules were put in place. Mm -hmm. How many people at the county had to work at home during that time, Charlie? Oh, gosh. We had, uh, there's not a, a department in the county that wasn't mm -hmm. shut down for a mm -hmm. week at least once. Right. Mm -hmm. Most of them two <laughs> or three times mm -hmm. during that mm -hmm. period. And when I say shut down for a week, I'm talking about everybody because yes. mm -hmm. if, if somebody tested positive there, the you know, then everybody had yes. to quarantine. Yes, yes. So, uh, oh, it was. Uh, it was rough. It was rough. It was rough. The, uh, the good thing, I guess, if there's such a thing on that, is that the money that it cost, uh, the money that was, was lost, I guess, mm -hmm. over that, was money that was budgeted and was going to be spent anyway. So it, it didn't cost us over and above what we were planning mm -hmm. to spend. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we didn't lose money as such, we lost services. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, which, of course, is kind of the same thing as money, but right. not really when you don't have to come up with more of it. Exactly. So, exactly. But, but all things considered, uh, we did very well mm -hmm. as a county during the mm -hmm. pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually came out better mm -hmm. uh, in terms of revenue while everything was shut down across the rest of the country mm -hmm. than, uh, than when we were we're all open for business. Well, thanks to so. your leadership, Charlie. Yes. Well, yes. well yes. Yes. thank yes. you. He's, he's, he's so. the heartbeat of us all. He's yeah. Wonderful. yeah. Well, thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. And I yeah. think you told me that. that this would be your last term. Mm -hmm. Is it truly going to be your last term? That's the plan. Nobody's <laughs> going to talk you into staying because we have a mayor no. in ball ground that we just love our mayor. Yeah. And he said, you know, maybe next time I, I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I said, no, you're not. You're too young to be done. You're too young to be done. So. Well, I'm not too young to be done. <laughs> well, Charlie wants to go fishing. He wants to catch more trout uh, and more white, wide bass, whatever. Right? Wide mouth bass. Yeah. I had somebody tell me the other day, never say never. Yes, that's yes. Right. And yes. I, I guess that's true in the long run, but for now, it's never. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, okay. Does Miss Barbara <coughs> want you home more? Is that one of the reasons you're Not thinking? particularly. Oh, I love it. He's, I love an honest man. You know, if you have a politician that's that honest and that brutally honest, you know he's a good guy. So. Well, going to watch the show today? <laughs> she, she may be. She's in Alabama, uh, oh, okay. grandson in today. Oh, okay. So, uh, cool. Okay. Yeah, so she's She's going to be there. Uh, she's coming back Friday, and then she's leaving again Sunday to go back. Oh wow! And I asked her, are you "Why are okay? you coming home? Why are you?" Just... I have a hair appointment. Uh, <laughs> not to see my sweet husband, but because I have a hair appointment. So. Well, that's serious business. That's serious business. I know it is. You don't you don't mess that up. No. Now, Susan, um, we just participated in a parade, yeah. and it it featured Fogus, and Charlie's a big part of Fogus. You're a big part of Fogus. Can you tell people who've just moved into the community what Fogus means to this community? Well, first I want to say you were the star of the parade. Oh, no. In no, no, no. Seven Ford. <laughs> yeah, it was I pretty mean, cool. As you came by, the, 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 the big yeah, uh, announcers. Cool. And Sherry Martin from ETC. <laughs> yeah. You know, da 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 da. I mean, yeah, and cool. you're waving at everybody and taking photos. I was, I was country redneck, so I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yes, we did. We were F O G A S, Friends of Gilmer Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I always like to tout Fogus when I come on the show because. It's so important. When we had the drive-through shots clinic and the spay neuter certificates, you know, mm -hmm. those people in those cars, you know, roll down their windows, want to just give us a hug through mm -hmm. the window and say, mm -hmm. thank you, Fogus, for all you do for this community mm -hmm. and for the yes. town and for just Gilmer County. I mean, for the shots, you don't have to be a Gilmer County resident. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Chester um, does all of that for us. But for the spay neuter, you do have to be a Gilmer County resident. Right. But may I mention one thing while we're on that subject? Yes. I was just mentioning to Charlie also who knows. I spoke with Daniel yesterday. 
this year alone, since January until what are we at? June six. Six months. Yeah. Four hundred dogs and four hundred cats and wow. kittens and puppies were in the shelter. Were brought into the shelter. Four hundred yeah. each. Yeah, that's a lot of animals. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of animals. animals. Yeah. And w they need volunteers. <coughs> they need so yeah. many more volunteers just to help walk the dogs and. The only really um, prize you get is the wagging of the tail or the mm -hmm. purring of the cat. Mm -hmm. That's your mm -hmm. gift mm -hmm. because everyone pretty much is volunteer. With right. Fogus, we're all volunteer. So all the work that we do is um, to raise money so that we can do the spay neuter. Mm -hmm. We can do the, the shots, mm -hmm. the low cost shots. And what is it? The cost of shots like twenty five dollars versus? No, no, no. Ten dollars for $10. rabies. Okay. Fifteen for um, leptospirosis distemper, uh -huh. and fifteen for the uh, kennel cost, the bordetella. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, for forty dollars, you get your dog everything for the whole thing for the whole mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. I mean, how great is that? Yeah. But yeah. with the spay and neuter, oh uh, that's where you really that save is money. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we charge them twenty five dollars. I mean, mm -hmm. you could have a great big uh, Rottweiler or a, a you know whatever dog, mm -hmm. a female, and get it spayed or neutered for twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. But of and course, you know, we pay the rest. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. It's not that it's yeah. free. No, 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 it's no, no. that's all you ask. That's all yeah. they pay. Yeah. And then yeah. Fogus with their with their, you know, fundraisers. Mm -hmm. We pay Dr. Chester, who gives us a really good mm -hmm. price, very mm -hmm. low mm -hmm. price. I mean, at the St. Patrick's um, parade, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we had 27 volunteers there, directing traffic, mm -hmm. taking their information, mm -hmm. getting the spay neuter certificates. I mean. It was wonderful to see all those red shirts with a big <laughs> Fogus logo on it, you know, just helping people. And some would come, and they didn't even want anything back. I was at the information booth. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. <laughs> but anyway, they did. And they were giving us like $20, $50. Just a donation. I don't want anything. Yeah. Just here, take care of yeah. yeah. And everyone said, thank you, Fogus, for all you do. Mm -hmm. You know, we appreciate that you're all out here. Maybe on a freezing cold day or a hot summer day, mm -hmm. we're just standing there doing what we do because we, we really want to help the animals. Mm -hmm. And when you see the 400, just this year alone, Daniel told me yesterday that they had 130 cats and kittens in May. Wow. Alone. Wow. Yeah. Is that because it's a seasonal thing with cats maybe and kittens? kittens maybe? And that, there's, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There's, wow. there's a season when we get more than. Yeah. The rest of them. Uh -huh. but the thing about Focus, though, is they they help us out real time. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we uh, when we got the van for the transports, mm -hmm. they paid for all the the interior um, the cages crate. oh, yeah. and crates yeah. and Over so $5, forth. Over five thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so they help us out in real time uh, right mm -hmm. away. But they also look to the future, and that's what the spay and, and neuter thing's oh, yeah. all about. Because in the end, uh -huh. we need to. Uh -huh. commercial break yes okay we're gonna we're gonna stop right now we're gonna take a quick commercial break and when we come back we're gonna feature a song Susan doesn't know this but she wrote a song about you're yes. my friend and and because oh. you are my friend and and oh. and I love this song I didn't so know you had I've chosen this to oh. share today with y'all so just we're gonna go oh. to a commercial break and when we come back we're gonna be featuring Susan's song and I'm gonna ask story. her to tell me why she wrote it and who she wrote mm. it about. So we'll be back in just a minute, oh, guys. I know who it was. <laughs> Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? 
United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, guys, now we're going to let Susan tell you a little bit about a beautiful song you wrote uh, about the love of your life. Tell me about it. I'm trying to remember the year. I think it was 2003. My husband and I had just moved to Reynolds Plantation. Had he been diagnosed with cancer yet? Not yet. No. no. Okay. Okay. And um, we were on the lake, and we, we had a property, you know, on the lake. And it was beautiful, and I just wrote this song for him because he was my partner, he was my friend. Mm -hmm. We were married for 37 and a half years, mm -hmm. and then um, horribly, cancer was, came. Cancer, came, cancer and came, and boom, you know, knocked us both between the eyes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he had the disease, but we both had had cancer, if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. We both went through it, right. and it was horrible to see a man that was so strong and so brilliant in his mind mm -hmm. to see him go away like that and to watch it every day was <coughs> extremely sad. What you type of cancer did he have? He had esophageal like like Hans. Right. But it spread through his whole body. So yeah. by the time, like some men do, they don't go to the doctor and they don't yeah. get things yeah. checked out. Charlie's sitting there going, huh? Ah, yeah, no, no. Men what? out there, please get it, get to the doctor. Mm -hmm. If you have any symptoms of anything, a little dizziness Even or something. Even if you don't have symptoms, yeah. a one-year checkup. Of course, of course. Every yeah. once a year, as bad as yeah. I hate it. And, and you should have seen the doctor's eyes when he said, how long has it been since I've seen you? And I said, mm. shut up. It's been a long no, time. Oh, I know. <laughs> So we often get busy with our lives yeah. and we don't need to and it's like my mm -hmm. sister was just diagnosed with cancer. It's mm -hmm. already in three places mm. because there were no indications. She didn't feel bad. She didn't have any labs mm -hmm. that were bad. Nothing was bad. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back three different places. So just a once a year exam, you know, and I've been for a year having labs every 90 days because we had some things that were showing up. Right. And once it started showing up, then I knew that we have to be on top of it. If Frank were alive today, could they have changed his route with the new medicine and the new techniques with cancer? Well, he died in 2005, in December. Mm -hmm. And I think, I say way back then, a lot of advancements. Like 17, for, for today, there's been so much advancement yeah, yeah. in the treatment and the diagnosis. In his day, uh, by the time he started to wobble and feel dizzy, he was too far gone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Very sadly, I hate to say this, but he was <coughs> a dead man walking. But wow. we didn't know it, he, and he never told me. I mean, he was in the military, and of course, they get you all checked out in, when you're in the military. Yeah. After that, I don't think he ever went to a doctor. He even brags about he wasn't even born in a hospital. Wow. His mother had him at home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he yeah. sort of bragged about that. And I said, Frank, I'm not sure you should be bragging about that. <laughs> but anyway, I saw him through to the end. And um, But this song I wrote 
was about looking over Lake Oconee mm -hmm, uh, and mm -hmm. Reynolds Plantation in uh, Green County, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. next to Putnam County, but in Green County. And uh, it was just beautiful. And I remember writing the song for him. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, he didn't even mm -hmm. know it was for him until wow. I wrote it. Yeah. Because, you know, these things just come to me when they do. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 But thank you for surprising <coughs> me. I did well, not know you were going to do this. I think we need to share this okay. because there's somebody sitting out there today who's going to get a diagnosis. There's somebody sitting out there who's going to get good news. There's mm -hmm. somebody sitting out there who's going to bury a loved one. Mm -hmm. But the key to this is your partner, your friend, and be there to support them. And, and I think this song speaks oh, volumes. You. So y'all sit back thank you. and you're going to get to enjoy a little bit of music from Susan Liebert. And, and this truly is a love story. Thank you so much. Okay, for you guys that are with us on uh, Facebook, I hope are one, two souls embrace, a special gift, a perfect place, a life to share, someone to care, when I reach out, you're always there, you're my partner, you're my friend, you are the one I depend on, I'm a willow and I bend, you have the strength I Watches your show and da, da 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 and we just started talking, and and it's about living life. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we are back. Susan, thank you so much for that beautiful song, oh goodness, and for you who were watching us on Facebook. I hope that you will know that this will be downloaded on YouTube, and you will get to hear her whole song. Now, Charlie, we haven't even talked about the fact that the Gilmer County Animal Shelter, which is desperately in need of growth, is going to grow, yes, isn't it? Tell it me is. about that. It is. We have. <coughs> A couple of uh, donors, very, very generous donors mm -hmm. that uh, have provided uh, enough that we're going to essentially mm -hmm. double mm -hmm. the size of the shelter and renovate well the old part yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll have uh, we'll have a shelter that is much nicer than mm -hmm. before, much larger than before, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just going to be uh, it's going to be really nice. Yeah. What, how are the plans going? They're going well. Mm -hmm. uh, the architect yeah. uh, has <coughs> been working. He's, I think, pretty much finished. Uh, they've had the uh, uh, geologist or geo, whatever mm -hmm. they call them, that's right. come out, you know, and they've taken mm -hmm. their samples. Uh, we're getting very close to being able to bid this yeah. thing out. Awesome, awesome. So we're, we're hopeful that uh, construction will be starting. Well, you know what's so sad about construction today? It's going to probably cost 40% more to build it than it would have five years yeah. ago. 
sadly because or the two cost years ago. yeah the the cost of building material is still skyrocketing. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Um, is it going to be a concrete structure? It's not going to be concrete. Okay. Uh, I mean there'll be concrete mm -hmm. in it, but mm -hmm. it's uh, it's going to be uh, a two two winged I guess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. structure, mm -hmm. and in the middle. It's going to be like an, a little courtyard thing mm -hmm. and area where the, the animals can go out and run and play. And, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> there's going to be a, uh, let me make sure I say this right, uh, Cataria. Cataria. <laughs> a cat house. Come on, Charlie. Well, it's going to be a cat house. First time I heard that there was going to be a cataria, I, I, I wasn't real sure about that. I love it. But uh, I've mm -hmm. looked at the plans for that, and it's going to be really nice. Yeah. It's going to be a large area in there where uh, they can uh, have access to the outside, mm -hmm. uh, obviously screen type right. to right. the outside. Uh, there'll be... Uh, all kinds of things they can climb on, mm -hmm. and, and it'll be spacious. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to cool. be really nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll a little more than double the number of runs that we have for the dogs. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, the animals are going to be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to have better temperature control there. Mm -hmm. um, they, they'll, particularly the ones that have to stay for a while, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they're going to have a better experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this thing done. Mm -hmm. um, it will aid us in, in the cooperative efforts, too, that we have with other rescue groups. <clears throat> right. So it all kind of comes together in one big plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think when this is finished, uh, Gilmer's going to be a... Mm -hmm. um, a model. A model for yeah. the rest of the state. Absolutely. A no-kill no so. shelter, I might A no-kill shelter, yes. that's that's yeah. true. And and yeah. that's what I hope, as an example, that there will be articles written mm -hmm. in, in national magazines mm -hmm. talking about this, because yeah. there are animal rescue units everywhere. I mean, part of the yeah. dogs that leave here go to New Jersey, don't they? Yeah, they, they have yeah. several transports, mm -hmm. twice a year <clears throat> at least. Mm -hmm. And we take those dogs spayed and neutered right. up to, uh, up to uh, New Jersey, New York, Michigan. Michigan. All those I was going to say, Michigan is uh, one of the areas. And many yeah. of them already yeah. have forever homes waiting yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, there, so. absolutely. So once the message gets out that Gilmer County took this small shelter and this small group of volunteers mm -hmm. and then two large donations and, and used it so wisely, mm -hmm. then maybe other people will say that's an example for others to follow. If you're exactly. doing your estate planning and you happen to have no children, no grandchildren, and you want to make a difference, why not do it this way? Yeah. Why not do it this way? Mm -hmm. One thing that I want to emphasize on this, though, about the no-kill shelter part, mm -hmm. I have been told recently that you can put down up to 10% of every animal there and mm -hmm. be deemed a no-kill. <coughs> That's not what I call no-kill. No, no. So we, the only time that mm -hmm. uh, we ever euthanize an animal Mm -hmm. is Help. if it's so sick yes. or it's been hit by a car when it comes right. in, that mm -hmm. kind of thing, where right. that's basically just the merciful thing right. to do. Right, exactly. We don't do it for space. Right, right. So we're, we're less than 1%. <coughs> I that. think that's so important, yeah. yeah. So very, very important. Now, Susan, there's also a new marshal who's doing the animal. Tell me yes. about that. Um, she, she is Officer Alexander. And she's the new. She's not the director. She's the uh, manager the of the animal shelter. Animal control. Animal uh, control. Because mm -hmm. Daniel Luuka is the main director, right. and mm -hmm. whom we love and adore. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does so much. But this new officer, Officer Alexander, she has taken over now. And now the um, the feral cat um, population that we that Fogus was touting mm -hmm. is uh, had to be put on the back burner until this new officer came aboard. But she has 10 years of experience and she's gonna yeah. do that and we're gonna do the feral cat program again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can bring your your wild, or I shouldn't say wild, I should say, I should, they're not wild, are they wild? They're pretty wild. Oh, they're wild. They're, they're pretty wild. wild. <laughs> they're, they're pretty wild. wild. And, uh, yeah. and then you can, you can <coughs> go out there and, and get them like you did with your kitty in and, and you know ago. I'm not going to name uh -huh. the group uh -huh. that I oh, oh. use oh. but I will okay. tell you I did not get this cat that I rescued uh -huh. 
spayed for $25. It was $95. Mm -hmm. and but so she was already pregnant again. She mm -hmm. was, and, and that's what was so sad mm -hmm. because her kittens were only five months old mm -hmm. and she was expecting again. I didn't know she was expecting when I took her in to have her mm -hmm. fixed. And, but again, I didn't have a FOGUS certificate and I couldn't use Dr. Chester because I caught her and had to get it done immediately. Mm -hmm. And, um, but she had just gotten to the point that she would, you know, you could rub her head mm -hmm. and, and, and feed her and she would come and eat. And then she disappeared after I had her fixed and it broke my heart because she was becoming domesticated mm -hmm. almost, you know, and then all of a sudden, so I don't know if something got her, but she was mm -hmm. such a beautiful cat and she did have pretty, pretty babies. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, but you took to the shelter I, and they took care yes, of them. Yes, the shelter them found them out. homes. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So it all worked mm -hmm. out except mama disappeared and mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to her, but she was mm -hmm. so precious. So, mm -hmm. and it was, it's very easy to catch a cat if you buy good tuna. That's oh, all I'm going to oh, say. Oh, <laughs> get okay. They're really yeah. smelly kind. Yeah, <laughs> really good tuna. <laughs> Now, Susan, mm -hmm. I have invited you to be one of my hostesses at an event that we're going to do on July the 4th. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And we're kind of excited about this because my uh, business partner, Evelyn, and I sell real estate. Mm -hmm. I've done it for 35 years. She's done it for about five years. Mm -hmm. And she speaks fluent Spanish. I speak country, redneck, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I came here from the city and, and I lost it real quick. Uh, <laughs> I just, I'm gone. You haven't lost yours yet. So. Oh. But but I love the idea that we serve from ball ground to Turtle Town. Well, I do the same thing in real estate. And if I have a client who wants to list something in Turtle Town, then I co-op it with one of my friends in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it's all about serving these mountains, and I do it in more ways than one. I love doing it on television. I love doing it doing cooking segments and cooking shows. Mm -hmm. But I love showing these mountains, and nothing mm -hmm. makes me any happier than to list a beautiful property in Gilmer County. And I've just listed several really pretty properties in Gilmer County. Mm -hmm. One of them is a beautiful, beautiful home over in Kusawati. And I got tickled because I got down there, and you would have loved this. This was like a picture postcard moment. Mm -hmm. The afternoon before I went to photograph and to take pictures, a baby deer was born oh, at the oh. edge of their porch. Ooh, and they have pictures oh of this. Goodness. The mama found refuge at mm. the corner of their porch oh and goodness. laid there and gave birth to her baby. Oh. Now, how cool is that? When do you buy stuff like that? You can't market yeah. that stuff. Yeah. And so they have pictures of that. And so what a marketing tool, you know? And that's what it's about. My mother was always in marketing for Coca-Cola and Minute Maid, and she always mm -hmm. said, Sugar, you gotta sell the brand, you gotta sell the image, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Do you know how easy it is to sell these mountains? Because the mountains sell themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They're so that's beautiful. Cool. You both came here from other places. Charlie, what attracted you to these beautiful uh, mountains? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, we had been uh, coming up for a number of years uh, and renting a, a cabin and uh, hook, line, and sinker. Hook, we got line, you. <laughs> we got you. We uh, we got to the point it was time to decide where we wanted to live when we retired. Mm -hmm. We didn't know where that was going to be, but we knew it wasn't going to be where we were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, it was just like uh, you know flipping a light switch. Well, wait a minute. Yes. You know, we mm -hmm. love going to LJ. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So uh, we went up one day to look at some property, and before we left, we bought it. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what it takes. Susan, how'd you end up here? Sorry. <clears throat> touching my mic. Sorry, Donovan. Um, the first house I saw, I bought. Yeah, and there you go. And all my friends from like New York and Maryland and everybody were like, oh my gosh, she's lost her mind. <laughs> you know, she's, she's in this grief mode. But then they came up to visit me and they said, Susan, you oh, did yeah. good. You did good. I said, I know, I know. It was yeah. the first house I saw and wow. I bought it that day. On the way back, in the car with the realtor because uh -huh. we had come from uh, Ackworth. And I said, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> it and it was his first house that he ever oh, sold. that's funny. And he that's goes, funny. this is easy. Well, let me yeah. tell y'all, it's not that easy in real life. So <laughs> it's not that and easy. And I bought a cash, which was extra nice because yeah, it was yeah. a, a done deal from the get-go. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. And I moved up here and I just love the Absolutely mountain. love it. I have almost four and a half acres. A three-story house, <coughs> which is a little more than I wanted, but mm -hmm. it's perfect for me and my 
my Georgia boys. Yeah. And yeah. my Georgia boys are my doggies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we decided because we are selling these mountains and we love this community that on the 4th of July, when mm. there is a parade here in town, mm -hmm. the parade's going to be at 6 o'clock. My business partner and I, Evelyn and I, are going to be at one of our listings, which is at 312 South Main Street across from Holtz Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. We're going to be over there. Susan's going to be one of our hostesses. We're mm -hmm. going to have food. We're going to have refreshments. We're going to have a live band, Dwight Sanford, mm -hmm. and his band, Ella J, is going to be there playing music, and we're going to invite everybody to come in and hang mm -hmm. with us mm -hmm. and um, come by, look at the property. If you are new to Ella J, I did a little video of this yesterday, and I said, truly, Ella J is open for business. This property offers two buildings. And one of them, we're about to clean out and completely revamp it and make it look totally different. The other one is move-in ready today. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, it had been a real estate office. It had been a pawn shop. Unlimited opportunities right in town. And that's the cool thing because you're right in town and everybody knows that LJ is a destination of choice. For how many people, Charlie, do you think come in in a weekend to LJ? In a weekend? Oh. <laughs> um, Half I'd of Atlanta. Say, I'd say a couple thousand at least. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, at least. Um, yeah. I get the reports from the chamber on uh, people who are staying over in the, in renting cabins mm -hmm. on various weekends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they know how many cabins are rented, but they don't know how many people are how staying. How many occupants, So they'll yeah. give me a range. Right. And that range typically runs from a couple of thousand to six or seven thousand. Right, right. So. Mm. Yeah, and we hope that the parade is going to be a huge success. It's going to be at 6 o'clock at night, so you can go to the beach, go to the lake, go do whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. get back to town by 5 o'clock, get in, get in the parade route, and, and come and hang with us. And truly, we're going to have live music starting at 5 o'clock mm -hmm. and then ha take a little break while the parade's going on, mm -hmm. and then come back, and we're going to have music until the fireworks start. And I can say from this wow. location, you get to see the fireworks oh. too, so yeah. it's really, really yeah. cool. And um, it is all about, what are you dreaming of? What are your dreams? Have you always dreamed about having your own business? Have you always thought, you know, I'd really like to relocate to L.O.J., but we haven't hook, lined you, and sinkered you yet. So, so we're still trying to let people know, hey, we are open for business, and this is a great town to operate a business in. Number one, you can do your mail order stuff, and the way this building is set up, it has one department where you could do your shipping and you, then you can have a retail store mm -hmm. so you could do both you mm -hmm. know and you could make money on the on the international market even shipping worldwide on products that you maybe are featuring something about LJ because I don't know if you two know it but LJ is pretty awesome Oh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Yes, yeah. we know it. Pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. Pretty yeah. awesome. And also, yeah. this location is right on that main south. Absolutely. Main, and there's a lot of traffic. Here's though. the Dairy Queen, and yeah. here's town, and here's yeah, the the right, hardware exactly. store, and there's our building. So yeah. you can't mm -hmm. get a better location. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Well, right now, because we are going to be doing this event, um, we're going to share the most requested song by the group Ella J. And this is one, it kind of has gotten in my head and it's driving me crazy because me I too. love long black limousines. And when I heard this song, oh. it's number one on the CD and I just kept playing it and playing it and playing it. And everybody said, that's so morbid, that's a funeral. I said, man, I love the music to this song. I just mm -hmm. love it. And I love the idea that it is about black yeah. limos. Mm -hmm. But I want you to sit back now. Y'all know him, you love him. He has been in LJ all of his life from the day he started over at Pumpkin Center to the day today while he's around uh, restoring old cars, doing all kinds of things. But, but the thing I love most about what Dwight Sanford and his group does they play for special people and, and they make a difference in people's lives. I happened to see them at the Lions Club when they did an event that they do twice a year for the special friends from the Burnt Mountain Center and Mineral Springs Center. And you talk about something from your heart, something from your heart. And so we're going to feature this music now and we want to invite each and every one of you to the event. It's going to begin again at 5 o'clock and we don't know exactly how much music we're going to have, but we're going to have lots of music and you're going to have lots of good country. Um, don't know if they'll do any gospel. They'll do some country, some rock and roll. They love old rock and roll. And if you're like me and Charlie and Susan, yeah. you like old rock and roll because we're old. I do, I do, <laughs> so there I do. you go. So they'll do some of that. 
But here we yeah. go to um, uh, their number one requested song. song <laughs> that is and it's not because i'm in a death mode i love that song and i do love black limousines <laughs> so there yeah. you go and again we want to invite you to come and hang out with us on july the 4th beginning at five o'clock and uh, we're going to have an open house i hope that somebody is in town who really 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 wants that building as bad as what we've got at priced. <laughs> so there you go there you go yeah. now susan what else have you got to talk oh, just about just really quickly um they need volunteers at the shelter. We need volunteers to help us with the fundraising for Fogus. Mm -hmm. But anybody can call Jack Payton. It's small letters all the way across, J-A-C-K-P-E-A-D-E-N at live.com. Or call him at 407-415-1043. And Jack will pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. If you have anything you can do to <coughs> volunteer, it would be so appreciated because like I said, we're all volunteers, and right. we just, but we need more. There were 27 of us at the parade. Right. And I was like, yes, you know, this yeah. is wonderful yep. that people uh, wanted to participate. 
And at the shelter, it's, um, uh, 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 let me see here. It is, can you read that? Anybody? Who, who can read it? What's, what's the number for, oh, the number for the shelter is 706-635-2166. That's for the animal shelter. So there, I did my And my I'll tell you something else. <laughs> I did. I'm guilty of taking things to the thrift store, but I have some um, throws. If you have too many throws, oh, we yeah. all have too many throws. Mm. Wash them, get them ready, and take them to the animal shelter because they can always use those throws if, if a dog's giving oh, birth or sure. if they need something for their, you know, for their bedding, whatever. Mm -hmm. Take those, and, and if you're buying dog food and you happen to buy an extra bag, take it to the mm -hmm. shelter. If you buy a kind that your dog is picky, picky, picky and won't eat it, take it to the shelter. Yeah. Donate it. Don't throw it away. Don't waste it. Don't give it to the squirrels. Them squirrels got enough to eat out there. I've seen the nuts. I've seen the nuts running around. <laughs> <laughs> With 400 dogs and 400 cats. Oh my cats gosh, that's in the crazy. Last five months, six months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they need all the help and all the food and all the support they can get. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, again, um, volunteer for Fogus, volunteer for the shelter, mm -hmm. and give back. Now, Charlie, what do you see happening in the future? Um, I haven't, oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> Everybody tells me how amazing the new theater is here. I've never but I'm Ooh, going there. I promised, I promised, oh, yeah. I promised Vicky that I would go with her and see a movie she wants to see because she promised she would go to see the Elvis movie with me. So we're going to go see that, and we're going back to see um, Top Gun Maverick again. We're going to see it again, okay. and we're going to go up here. I've never been there, but what's happening in that area? Is there some growth going on? There is growth going on there. Um, I usually am just about the last to know about it because it's in the city rather <laughs> right, than the county. Right, right. Mm. Uh, but we've got uh, a couple of restaurants uh, uh, that are going in. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be uh, one Mexican and then there'll be Buffalo, uh, Buffalo Luke's mm -hmm. and a uh, Popeye's chicken is going mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Rumor has it that there's going to be an Aldi going oh, in. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if that, I, well, it's not finalized yet, mm -hmm. but I know that there's a lot of interest in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's something that could be coming. That's, it's a, uh, a popular place to, uh, right. for new businesses to yep. come in. So it, there's been quite a bit happening around there. And I can remember when the theater came, it was like we started watching the grading yeah. going on and there was a little, what's going on, what's happening? That's, and it was during a time that the economy was not great. Right. And so they did some risk there, but they seemed, I went by the other day at noon and the place was packed. I glanced yeah. over and I said, good night. <laughs> I can't believe how busy it is. The so, chairs are so comfortable. Oh, yeah. You can recline them, you a little foot <laughs> Somebody rest. told me the only thing That's bad wonderful. about it is she fell asleep every time she went to see a movie. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They're so comfortable. Oh, I don't think I'll fall asleep watching Top Gun. <laughs> they, they are very comfortable. And, and I like the fact that you can uh, buy your tickets online and mm -hmm. pick your seats. Yes, oh, yes, wow. You can. So oh, you can actually reserve that? what Be seat served, you want. Yeah. That is, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, it's exciting. And you know, um, L J is exciting. Blue Ridge is exciting. Ball Ground is exciting. I still can't figure out, <clears throat> people come to Ball Ground. <clears throat> I took my allergy meds, but you can't mm -hmm. tell it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, people come to Ball Ground, and we don't have theaters, we don't have a grocery store, but we have a sweet spirit about it. Mm -hmm. It's just a, and people walk down one side of the road and then back up, mm -hmm. <coughs> and you see the same people and the kids and their dogs and the grandmas, and then they gather in the park, and, and there is going to be um, some music available in Ball Ground in the park, I think, this weekend. I'll find out more about that. I, I saw the name of the band, but I can't remember, but I'll, I'll get the information mm -hmm. for Thursday's show. But all the tiny towns we serve have something going on. Even mm -hmm. Talking Rock. Talking Rock, you talk about T90 town. Mm -hmm. My granny said, that's a T90 place. It's a T90 little town with mm -hmm. like five shops. But it is doing well. And it's because these mountains are open for business and did not shut down during right. that time. So we brought in more tourists, more visitors, more people who, like you two, mm -hmm. decided I think I want to live there, mm -hmm. and I think I can work from home. <clears throat> As a realtor, one of the questions I have to answer more than anything is, do I have good Wi-Fi? Well, sadly, mm -hmm. ETC doesn't go everywhere. I wish ETC went everywhere mm -hmm. because ETC has fantastic Wi-Fi, and I wish that we went mm -hmm. everywhere. But that's one of the biggest questions, and I've lost some sales because people say, well, we both now work at home. And if we don't mm -hmm. have specifically good Wi-Fi, we can't buy this property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
Wi-Fi folks, let's wake up and let's take Wi-Fi everywhere. I know it's expensive to get it there, but I think in the long run it's going to pay off. Well, a lot of that's going to be changing too because, uh, you know, ATC has gotten some really good grants mm -hmm. to, to work on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think over the next few years you're going to see, uh, you know, I'm not going to predict it's going to be everywhere, but I right. think you're going to see it greatly expanded mm -hmm. for the next few yeah, years. Yeah. There's one area over by Carter's Lake that I sold some property, and it has the world's worst internet, and I begged ETC to go down there. And ETC goes just up on 382, just mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and I know that because I can watch myself on that big screen TV Uncle John's got, <laughs> so that's how I know it. But from 382 down, it doesn't yeah. go. Yeah. And so the people down by Carter's Lake are suffering because they have, and I'm not gonna say the name of the company, but it's horrific, it's mm. awful, it's horrible, it's mm. nothing. Oh, say what is the name? I can't say it, <laughs> I can't say it, but it's bad, it's bad. But if you're looking for good services, ETC, in my opinion, and you know, mm. even when I didn't work here, they offer the best, they mm. offer the best, mm -hmm. so. And, and that's that's what we need to get the word out. I know you do that to everybody you see. You tell oh, them yeah. you gotta get ETC, you gotta it's, get ETC. A, I have five things going on with ETC. I have my landline phone, mm -hmm. my cell phone, no, no, not my cell phone, that's the one thing they, they don't do, uh -huh. my cell phone. But I have my security system, my, my um, internet, TV. and my, my TV. I have all these programs yeah. all through ETC. And right. when something goes a little askew, they're right there. I call right. them, I say, I need some yeah. help. And they come right over and they'll fix whatever it is. They're wonderful. Well, I will tell you, wonderful. there is a company that's been around a long time, but I know an elderly couple who had them. And to call mm -hmm. Minneapolis and try to get the help mm. was horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. So then they went back to ETC because you're like, oh yeah. my goodness, this is crazy that you have to call somewhere in a foreign land, which Minneapolis yeah. is a foreign land, isn't it? <laughs> I have all my outdoor uh, cameras <coughs> and my indoor cameras all with ETC yeah. for security. Yeah. And I feel safe. Yeah. All my doors are all wired in for mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. alarm. Even my smoke detectors wow. go with ETC. So there you go. they have been a full service company yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah. And yeah. they have your show on. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. She watches. Can y'all tell she watches? <laughs> all the okay, time. today we're gonna end with a gospel song because um, we got a little rock and roll going on, we got a little country going on, we got a little original music going on. And we're gonna end with a, a good gospel song. When the roll is called up yonder, we will all be there. The three of us will be there. We will be there when that roll is called up yonder. We know um, how important, um, you know, we're gonna lose some friends this year, but knowing where they're going makes that loss a little bit easier. It makes that loss a little bit easier. If you know that you're heaven bound, it makes that loss a little bit easier. And would you bring your child, your wife, your mother, your dad back to this old world? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. So mm -hmm. so sit back now and enjoy um, Dwight Sanford and the band Ella J. And again, you are all invited on July the 4th, and I'll give you more information about that later. But here we go. Let's just sit back and listen to a really good gospel song by the group Ella J. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work for buying, selling, or flipping.